Hey Jamarty, signing in. Welcome to my programming analysis. Today we are installing Wine onto Linux Mint. Wine is a program to run a Windows program for Linux. One really cool thing I've personally found about Wine anyway is that some games that I have compiled for Windows don't work on Windows 10, but will work on Wine. So it's awesome. So first thing we want to do, go to the menu, and then underneath administration, you should see software manager. You're going to want to open that up, give it your password, and that will open up the software manager. So you're going to see this search bar. You're going to want to click, go into the search bar, and all you have to do is type wine. Not the drink, of course. It's basically just to emulate the Windows kernel so you can run your Windows programs on Linux. So see the one that says wine? You're going to want to double click that. And then you're just going to want to click the little install button. The version I'm using is 1.6.2. And if you guys have an earlier or later version, it should work all the same as well. So it's going to say it's going to remove the following packages. And it's going to install the following packages as well. So just basically say confirm, click yes to that, and then it is going to install. All right, so we've got wine installed, so that's all good, but we're gonna need a few more things besides wine. So go back to the search results tab, click that, and look for wine mono. You're gonna to wanna to go with that. And mine is, well, mono is just basically so you can use the .NET framework of Windows. So make sure you double click on it, and I'm using .8 or whatever it is. So just go with the most recent version and just click install. Okay, so now we have Mono installed. So now the last thing we want to do is go back to the search results tab and then Wine Gecko. You're going to go with that. And mine just is 2.21. So it doesn't really matter what the version is. Just go with the most recent version and hit install. All right, and now we finally have Gecko installed. So we've got everything we need installed. So that's all good. So you can close out of the software manager. And now go now into the start menu. And now you should see a tab, a Wine tab. So in here, you're going to see this little configure Wine. You're going to click that. And this is just a configure of the compatibility service and a whole bunch of customizable functions. And this little message will pop up saying Wine Gecko Installer. It's going to say you're going to need something to download. Just click install. All good. And then I'll just download that. Uh, there we go. So now this is the Wine configuration. So the default settings for the global settings for everything right now is being set to Windows XP. So you can set that to what you want it to. It goes as new as Windows 8 and it goes as old as Windows 2. That's pretty old. But if you want to have a specific configuration for a certain program, then all you have to do is click Add Application. So for instance, say you have Windows 95 program and Windows 10 program, well, just set, click Add Application, browse for your little application. If it's not on the virtual C drive installed with Wine, then you just click that little button right there and then go to Home and then your user, and then it's going to be located somewhere in there. So um, mine is going to be set to XP for now because that's all I'm going to really need. Okie dokie. So to test it out that works, I'm going to run a Windows program. I have Strong World Crusader. So to do it, all you have to do is right click on the Windows application. So Windows AXE, just right click on it, and let's see Open With, and then Wine Windows Program Loader is what you're going to want to use. So this will work for MSI installers and all that. So for the most part, I mean, it's not a perfect system, but it works pretty dang good from what I've seen. So we're going to open it with that, and we'll see if this actually does work. So it is opening. This graphics, yeah. It's a small little tiny little screen, but this isn't really Wine's fault. It's just because I haven't got my graphics driver updated yet, so I still need to do that. So this is actually quite amazing that this Windows program runs on Linux Mint. Let's see what Windows has to say about this. All right, let's see. So open it up, and yep, yep. The application was unable to start correctly, and a big error message. Of course, I have tried doing the compatibility service, and also is it basically tells you, man, you got a problem, and you can't use that game. So. Linux definitely beats Microsoft for at its own punch for that. So if you guys have any questions or comments about running Windows programs on Linux Mint, leave that down in the comments section. And if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Wait, that was going to say that. Dad, do mind. <laughs> and I'll be seeing you next video. Agent Marty out.